not so long ago in a kitchen not so far away it was may third and i could feel the fourth upon us i knew it was time to finally dig out my star wars cookie cutters that i have never used and i had the perfect shortbread cookie in mind i love this shortbread because it's a chameleon recipe and what that means is you can infuse any type of flavoring in here today i'm using lavender buds and i'm going to infuse my sugar first with this lavender flavor and i'm doing that in the food processor once i've pulsed it for a couple minutes i'm going to take it out and set it aside the most important part in making a shortbread is how to incorporate your butter. And it starts with taking your dry ingredients. Here I have my flour and I'm going to add my baking soda and my salt. I add my butter when it's really cold and I'm going to let it go into the food processor and I'm going to spin it until the butter chunks have combined but not totally combined. Here you'll see that there's still large chunks of butter left. This is okay. What I'm going to do now is pull it into a bowl and use my own hands to incorporate it so I'm totally in control. I'm breaking up those butter chunks until they're really small and the batter is still nice and crumbly. Now I'm going to add that beautiful lavender sugar. From here, I'm able to add my liquid ingredients. I have my heavy cream and my vanilla added together, and I'm going to gently fold this with my hands. I still want it to be nice and crumbly. This batter is ready to be packed into a rectangle and put into the refrigerator. Here I'm using my plastic wrap to do all the hard work for me. I'm just compressing in the edges until it's a nice rectangle shape. This batter has been pulled and it's ready to start rolling out. My favorite thickness is about a quarter inch thick. Now it's time to use my favorite cookie cutters that I'm so excited to use. You can use any tool to cut out your shortbread. A knife or a cookie cutter will work just fine. If you're using a cookie press like I am here, it's important to have the top floured just like the bottom to prevent from sticking. Once your cookies are on your sheet pan, lightly dust with sugar and put into a 350 degree oven for about nine minutes. Keep an eye on it. They're ready to come out of the oven when the edges are slightly brown. Thank you for learning how to make these lavender shortbread cookies. This is Jen Barney from Meringue Cakes and Fine Desserts. As always, if you have any questions, please drop a line in our comment box below. And if you'd like to see what Brian and I have been up to, visit our website at www.meringuecakes.com.